Good morning and happy Vlogmas Day 4. So today's adventure is that we're getting a new fridge to replace this one and it's coming sometime this morning but we discovered that it won't fit through any of the entrances in this kitchen. So my dad is going to do a little bit of last minute renos in the hopes we can get it in. <laughs> So the old fridge is basically empty. We just have these things that won't fit downstairs. And then we're moving all of the other stuff, ow, into these boxes, probably to go outside. So my prof wants us to wear Christmas things. And this is the only Christmas thing I can find. So I guess I'm wearing this to class. So, Today is Thursday and my prof wants us to wear Christmassy things to class and I just dug out this sweater I just showed you in the previous clip and like it doesn't really fit so it was making me really hot and uncomfortable <laughs> and was freaking me out. Sorry the vacuum is going because of what I showed you earlier. Um, anyway, so I changed into this green sweater from Aloe and I'm going to go downstairs and look in the Christmas box with our decorations and stuff and see if I can find my antlers I had last year at Vlogmas because then that can just be my thing and I don't have to deal I don't know why I feel so uncomfortable in Christmas things I used to have like a super oversized like Christmas sweater and I don't know where it is so I'm gonna go dig around and see if I can find stuff I got my antlers so now I'm all set I also have a nose But I feel like this is a bit extra. Like what the hell? How is this even supposed to be a thing? Yeah. I'm so sweaty. Eh, now there's concealer all over. Okay, so it's just gonna be the antlers. And I'm opening a damn window. Okay, now that I'm more comfortable, it is going to be like 15 degrees today and that is disgusting to me. It is December 3rd, what the hell? Winter, where are you? Why do I even live here if we're not gonna have winter? Uh, certainly not because I agree with everything that happens in this province because I don't. So anyway, <laughs> I seem like I'm in a bad mood this morning, but I'm actually not. I'm just stressed and overheating. Our fridge is coming. My dad shaved off half the wall so we can get it in. I have class in 15 minutes and then a call at 1130 with a girl to talk about internships, like to tell her kind of how they work. And then therapy at 1.30. I'm not looking forward to that. Then I have a meeting tonight with Dan to work on our project that's now due on Monday, but we thought it was due on Friday. So that's the plan. I'll see if I can show you everyone's Christmassy things on the, on the class, but we'll find out. I'm on a quest to make my ice chai, but because there's something in the fridge, we have to go looking for the chai. I think it's out here. Shoot, I put up, should have put shoes on. Burr. Aha. Success. We don't have any ice, so I made an ice chai. Hopefully everything will just stay cold and not disgusting. But it's not bad, actually. Cheers. So class is over, which is crazy because it's 10 and class only goes to 11.30. And I scheduled something for 11.30, so now... Oh, there's a helicopter. So now I have, like an hour and a half to do work which is great but like not what I was expecting and I'm a little thrown off 
So she just talked about our final exam and we have 48 hours to write it next week. So it should be fine. So I'm just filling out. My computer is so full it won't even like type. The disk is full trying to write. Free some space in this driver. Save the document on another disk. Which I don't have. Okay, I'm gonna go figure this out. Bye. Okay, I have about an hour until my call. So I'm gonna try and plow through all of the work for this class that I just had that's assigned every week. So two readings and a lecture. Let's Looks like the fridge people might be gone, so I'm gonna go see. There it is the new fridge with my dad inside. <laughs> okay, so it's not quite ready yet, but this is what we have. It's so spacious. Yeah, that so. I'm so excited. So I'm just watching Brooke's vlog, um, first day of Vlogmas, and she's talking about deleting dating apps for December, and you know what? I'm doing it. So, we got our one dating app here, and remove, and delete, and delete. Goodbye, Bumble. Okay, so the new fridge is all set up. My mom added this sign to the fridge with this magnet that I got in Toronto. And then if we open it up. Oh, it looks so weird on the camera. And then it, okay. So then we just have the doors, so much space. And then it's all like lit on the inside so you can actually see things. And then what I'm most excited for, where is it? is the water thing. My call at 11.30 with my friend Emily went shorter than I thought, so I'm gonna pop out, go to Shoppers because I wanna look at these things I saw on TikTok. The library, I have a book on hold and I'm gonna get a coffee. So, come along, friends. You're smushed into a little corner because the sun is coming in. I'm trying to get the light but not the sun. Um, I uh, was in the middle of telling you what was going on. Um, what I got from the library and from Shoppers Drug Mart and stuff and then my camera ran out of space. So I picked up this book called The Truants because I was w watching a TikTok and it was like, read these books if you need to get back into reading. And I do. I have found one I'm reading right now that I do like, but that was before, that was after I put this on hold. So this book is says, Jess Walker has come to concrete campus under the flat gray skies of East Anglia for one reason, to be taught by the mesmerizing and rebellious Dr. Lorna Clay, whose seminars soon transformed Jess's thinking on life, love, and Agatha Christie. Swept up in Lorna's thrall, Jess falls in with a tightly knit group of rule breakers, Alec, a courageous South African journalist with a nihilistic streak, Georgie, a seductive pill-popping aristocrat, and Nick, a handsome geologist with layers of his own. But the dynamic among friends begins to darken until a tragedy shatters their friendship and love affairs and reveals a terrible secret. Soon, Jess must face the question she fears most. What is the true cost of an extraordinary life? So I think that'll be good. Um, oh, I just looked right into the sun. I will read that once I finish the book I'm currently reading. So now I'm going to go on my Zoom therapy call. I really don't want to go. That's why I was in such a bad mood on Tuesday because I was trying to decide if I was going to cancel or not. I've like never dreaded, well, that's not true. When I first started going to therapy, I dreaded it more than this, but I really don't want to go. And I'm basically trying to decide if I'm going to leave my therapist and find a new therapist. So I will check in with you guys after and hopefully it won't be an absolute mess. Okay, it's been a while since I last checked in. I had therapy. It actually went okay. I booked another appointment with her. So I'll see after that one if I decide I'm going to change to a new therapist. It's like hard to find a new therapist, you know? So I don't really want to, but we'll see. Cause next time we're gonna talk about something a lot heavier. And if that doesn't go well, then I will probably find somebody else. So then I had a nap. 
then I met up with Danica virtually, of course, to finish our paper. Uh, no, finish our assignment for research. So we did that. And then we just like complained about things for like half an hour after. And then we just had dinner and watched a few episodes, <laughs> a few episodes of Jeopardy. And now I have some work to do, but I'm gonna go quickly have a shower. And that way my hair can be drying while I'm working instead of after I do my homework. So let's go. I would show you my skincare routine since I just had a shower. So I don't have any makeup on. Um, so let's just jump in. The first thing that I'm going to do is take my toner. Oh, I'm also wearing this super cozy robe that I got in my FabFitFun box. It's from the brand Summer and Rose. Okay. Cotton swab thing, which I hate using, but that's okay. And the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner. Just put some on the swab. And then because it does not like get absorbed at all, I just kind of like dab it on my face so I don't splotch it everywhere. And then just like make sure I got all the extra, you know, makeup that didn't come off. And we're good. So next I'm gonna take my um, Ordinary niacinamide and zinc and I picked this up because it's supposed to be good for like dry skin and blemishes and stuff and I just put a few drops on my hand because you don't want to touch the dropper to your face and then I just you know spread that around and this functions as my serum because I had a couple other serums that were breaking out so I just do that there we go. Also, while I was in the shower, I totally realized I never uploaded my vlog for today, so I gotta go do that. It's ready, and I just need to make a thumbnail and put it up. I don't know what I was doing. And I also didn't make my normal social media post that I do on Thursdays. Apparently today just threw me right off. Next, I take my eye cream, which is the Sephora... Why is it in French first? Hyaluronic Acid Brightening Eye Cream. And I just take some of that... Just blend it under my eyes. I mean, I know you're supposed to use your ring finger, but use my middle finger. I'm really feel like my skin's getting really dry lately, which always happens in Canadian winters. Um, but like to the point where my concealer is blending weird, and I'm like, my hands are so dry. So that's just the Canadian struggle. Okay, so we got the eye cream, and then. I don't know where my tube of this is, so we're going to have to use the giant tub again. Um, this is the Costco size CeraVe moisturizing cream for normal to dry skin. Um, I have like a squeezy tube of it, but I don't know where it went. So I've been I grabbed the tub um, the last time I was at Costco, and this is like pretty cheap at the drugstore. Like the this is a Pretty affordable skincare routine. The toner is expensive. Um, that's the most expensive piece. The niacinamide is like five dollars because the ordinary is such a good brand. And then the CeraVe, the Sephora eye cream is like fifteen or twenty. And then the CeraVe moisturizer at the drugstore is very cheap. I can't remember how much it was at Costco, but at Costco you get this giant tub which I like to use to moisturize my body too and a squeezy tube for like at least maybe a little bit more than like the, the one so we love that so that's my skincare routine and then right before I go to sleep um I put on the Laneige lip sleeping mask I bought this set from Sephora that comes with three I've had used these for like years now um and right now I'm using the mint one but i also have the berry which is like the original and then this one's lemon sorbet so i just bought the set for um the holidays because i knew i was gonna go through them anyway so now i'm gonna go do some work and put up my vlog and i'll check in with you guys before the end of the night Okay, so 
I am just doing some readings, but it's about 9 o'clock, so I want to start getting this video edited and ready to go up for tomorrow. So I'm going to finish the video off here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below mm -hmm. what your favorite Christmas movie is. And I will see you guys all in day five. Thank you.